the, the punch down numbers but all the just start slow. Sarah can always be seeing you come out with a fast start. I'm going to just come out however the fight decides itself. I just go in there, I see what I see, and I do what I do. You know? I know that if he starts off slow and he gives me a shot, I'm going to take it. I mean, as simple as that. You know, I don't really have expectations because we all know when you get in the ring, you see the positioning. It may change, but I'm going to go in there uh, just being me and we'll see what happens. Ryan, Ryan he promised me. Like certain troops who are getting under his skin or even rattling him in his team a little bit. Hey, this, this saying go, uh, holds Bro. true. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. So, uh... That's the one thing that you could always get somebody by telling them the truth. And, uh, you know, they decided to take a different route today. But uh, I overcame it with truth, and that's what I'm always going to do. Ryan, talking about the truth, could you speak please to Oscar's words in terms of their belief in their fighter, specifically all of these conditions and clauses? You got the weight limit, you've got the rehydration clause. Speak to their confidence as a team in, in their fighter. Well, think about it. They didn't put a rehydration clause on Mario Barros, which Gervonta claimed you're not even as big as Gervonta Davis. So what does that show you? That's just the truth. Now we're speaking truth. Then he, he says, oh, we got to do this at 136. He never claimed, oh, I only want to fight at 135. He never told me that. He was trying to drain me, obviously. And then at the last second, he puts a rehydration clause on me. And then now he's paying people to spy on me? I mean, think about this. Is that not showing you that he's not as confident? Anybody can read between the lines. They can spin it however they want. They say it's A-side uh, tendencies. I say it's arrogance and uh, doesn't have a strong character. That's it. I mean, point blank period, I don't care who they send to the ring. I told him, you want to come watch me train tonight? And that's truthfully, come watch me train. It's not going to stop what's going to happen in that ring. Um, it's just funny that they think all these little attempts are going to work. It's really it's really funny to me. Uh, but I walk in truth. I'm not I'm not afraid, man. Uh, it's, just, it's just their attempt to try to stop what's going to happen. Ryan, Ryan. Ryan, you both kept your temperaments nicely, and you both vowed to uh, break each other's jaw. When he initially said that, what was your initial? I was already thinking that. I, I already thought. Well, I'm in, I'm trying to shoot too, so put your camera up higher, then, sir. You need to get down. What you need to do? Love is in the air, brother. <laughs> uh, let's uh for sure. Um, you know what? It's just. It's just something I felt. You know, I always felt. I feel like I'm gonna break his jaw. I think that it's going to be very devastating for him. I feel like truly he's asleep. And I think he's a good kid, but he hasn't woken up yet. And sometimes something really bad needs to happen to you for you to wake up. And this is, this is the really bad thing. It's going to be really bad. He's going to fall face first with a broken jaw with nothing to say after. All he's going to have is thoughts in his brain. Think about all the things he's ever done. Ryan, Ryan, can you tell us in your words what happened on stage? I think he got some money out. What what was that um what was that all about on stage? He um he does what he does best, man. Live in delusion. And if you're living delusion, you're losing. If he thinks that this is what the fight's about, money, he's living the wrong life. You think the arena this this money, these cameras the people cheering, they all fade away one day. And all you're left with is your character and honor and how you lived your life. So he'll find out real soon. He'll be awakened one day, but it's probably gonna be Saturday night, like I've been saying. He's worshiping money on the stage, he's throwing it. He acts like I have not seen this before. I've seen this already. This is nothing. Unless he's humble in his heart, it doesn't matter. So uh, I'll be ready to do my job. I prepared well, didn't take him for granted. I know he's a great fighter, I know he has a lot of talent, but I got something deeper than that. And I do have talent as well, so he'll see that. He's afraid of something. It's this slingshot, man. He's scared. He's scared. As long as he didn't take that out of the contract, I'm good. <laughs>